since this is already really cute <laughs> but not very decorated I'm just thinking if we could use some of 49 Dragonflies fuzzy cut things to decorate um, this thing perhaps here in this corner I have here all of my leftovers from previous um, design team projects it looks a little bit strange <laughs> I know um, those Savannah images are really cool but I think this is not the right thing what we can put here I mean this little guy that would look really cool if we would fuzzy cut him and then put his head to this part of the envelope and the body here so that it um, is a whole picture when it is closed and when you open it you would see something else <laughs> I just get a really crazy idea but I think I, I just got got a really really crazy idea but I don't know if that is possible some mushrooms would also work oh yes oh yes forgot forget your crazy idea Louisa and take some mushrooms mushrooms are always a great idea and especially when you have such a background like this yep 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 I um, I will tell you my idea anyway so I just thought if we could find something that has a body and a head, <laughs> of course, this animal or the fairy has a body and a head, and then we would fuzzy cut it, put it here, so that the body is here and the head is here, and when you open this, you have another head. Um, so perhaps a fairy head on the body of this animal. That would look a little bit interesting, but I think it's also a lot of work to make that work. Um, I'm not sure if that is possible. Perhaps I will do it on the other side. I can't, <laughs> I can't give up this idea so easily. But let's see what else do we have here. Such a picture would also work really well if we would... I have to take off the this paper clip. If we would put that here then we would see the woman and when we open it we would see the man there <laughs> but i think i really like the idea with the mushrooms every of those mushrooms would match that would be a hard decision <laughs> okay what about a butterfly these are also from barbara's shop this orange oh my goodness this orange is so great also the green <laughs> where are my paper scissors I have to cut those out okay so this would definitely work perfectly here this butterfly but then please without the mushroom otherwise it's too much or we have to overload this bottom area of this uh, first page of this little notebook with some mushrooms like this for example but I think that's too much this it's too much for me um, a better solution would be to stamp here a little bit to have some black that's in this butterfly as well so I will just cut out this one here Oh my goodness, this contrast is so great. I really like this one here. Yep. Yep, okay, so that's the plan. That's the plan. Um, I'm just thinking if perhaps a bigger mushroom would work. Um, if these are perhaps a little bit small, I mean, this mushroom, for example, has nearly the same size as the butterfly. It's only a little bit bigger. And perhaps it would make sense to use a bigger mushroom or even this white one. 
and cut that. Uh, I have to try that. Give me a second, please. That is so stinking cute. I love it. But I'm so afraid if I glue that there, that perhaps when I then have to cut it, I mean that I can open the envelope, that it then looks like shh do you know what i mean <laughs> i really love this arrangement of these white um, mushrooms there that looks so cool and i just think if i shall decorate the the pages of these little notebooks um in a similar way okay so we have to imagine this is here, if this shall work. Trying to balance out the orange a little bit with this mushroom. I think that works really, really well. <laughs> In the meantime, I have also distressed these little guys a little bit. Um, I've just, uh, I, I just went around with the walnut stain distress oxide ink um, to give them a little bit m more dimension and I thought when we do this we have to use some stamps in the background so I thought why not trying out these uh, Stampers Anonymous uh, field notes stamps. Angela, if you're watching, thank you very much for organizing this thing here for me and shipping this to me. It was, <laughs> I know, a disaster to ship this to me, but I really appreciate that you did that. I'm so happy that I have these stamps um, because this Tim Holtz stuff, as you all perhaps know, is not so available here in Austria or even with Amazon. It's a really big problem to get these things. So I'm really, really happy to have that. And um, I think that would fit really well here to this whole arrangement. Okay, so we have to think about that. The stamping has to make sense when it's here and when it's open. So let's try to perhaps first stamp here and perhaps here so that we first only stamp to our notepad. Okay, so black, brown or what? I think black would look the best here on this surface. Okay, let's try that. Oh my goodness. Um... Okay, so I think I have taken out the wrong ink pad. Oh my goodness, this ink pad is not so full anymore, as you can see. But I think for this one it's okay. I'm not so happy. But we can't stamp it again, so we have to live with that. One would be great here. Oh, that looks way better when it's more black. Very cool. Okay. So then I think we need something here. Yep, okay. Okay, so and when this is here in the right position, I can flip that and carefully cut this off. And then glue this exactly here. Oh my goodness. Mm. 
this little guy here would be a little bit easier and because it's only on the one paper and this thing then will go somewhere here and this will go here so that means we have to glue this first cut that Easy peasy, it goes here. This whole thing goes from small to wide in this direction and this triangle here I think is our negative space so that means we could perhaps put a tiny thing here I would love to use this figure one, two, three, but only one at a time. But how to manage that? <laughs> okay, so if this shall go here, that would look really nice, I think. We will need something to cover up the rest. Then we take some ink. and try don't be ugly <laughs> it worked oh my goodness it worked <laughs> um, can we do the same thing with figure three I mean figure two would be a little bit uh, difficult because we would have to cover figure three and figure one but perhaps we can do figure three somewhere. Yep. I really like that, that this is so close to each other. That makes it even more interesting. That looks really, really cool. But I think now this is enough enough stamping for this front side and I really like that this number is so big and so black in combination with the butterfly it makes it yeah you look at at this butterfly first that's cool that's really cool okay so what if we stamp something here no, we can't do that. We have everything horizontally or vertically. I think we can't. We, oh, we can. We can. We can. We can do everything that we want. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but with what? We can take this collect stamp. Yep. And we will cover this area like this and then I can't see anything. 
Okay, so I have to do it in another way. I need a pencil. Put a little mark, <coughs> mark here and here so that I can see where the stamp has to go. It has to go in between of these both marks. No. Like this. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> Isn't that just cool? Oh my goodness. <laughs> 